I guess anyone knows Andrew Huberman. His podcast, Huberman Lab Podcast, has over 5 million subscribers. Huberman's ability to synthesize knowledge and present complex ideas in an easily digestible way is incredible. However, it is sometimes difficult to find the one piece of information that answers our burning questions regarding health or performance. This is why I took all of the episodes of the Huberman Lab podcast, summarized them, and created a searchable database. I didn't stop there. Recently, I've created Huberman GPT, a custom GPT that answers questions using the most relevant parts of the Huberman Lab podcast. It searches the database I created, prepares answers, and gives the user links to the podcast sections that answer the question in detail. In this video, I will show you how to use this GPT, and I'm going to share it with you completely for free. Let's get started. The first scenario is asking a specific question about health or performance. The second conversation starter contains such question, that is, what are the best ways to manage stress? Let's select it and see what we get. In the first step, we need to confirm that we want to use the action. This action searches the Huberman Lab podcast database I created and fetches the most relevant transcripts. Then the body of the answer is created. It will consist of a few insights extracted from the sections that Engine found presented in a form of actionable advice. So in this case, we can see that these are 1. Stress inoculation 2. Choosing enjoyable techniques to combat stress 3. Mindfulness and avoiding overthinking, and so on. Then, in the next section of the answer, we get links to the most relevant podcast sections the engine found. Let's click one of them and see what we get. We got redirected to a YouTube section of the Huberman Lab podcast. We can see this section talks about the stress inoculation tools. This was also the first point of the answer from the Huberman GPT. So the idea behind the structure of the response is that in the body of the answer, we get high level tips and tools, and then we can dive deeper into details using links provided at the end. I believe this is pretty powerful. Right now, let's go to the scenario number two. This is the case where we know the area or a topic that we want to learn more about but we don't have specific questions yet. In this example, let's say it's brain health. What we can do using Huberman GPT is we can ask it to suggest a few questions from this topic. These suggestions can then be passed to the engine and we'll receive answers and resources that answer these questions. Let's try it. To accomplish this, we will use the third conversation starter that is available inside the starting page of Huberman GPT. It is, give me five questions I can ask about brain health. So we can see we got five suggested questions that we can proceed with. One, how can I improve my cognitive function and memory? Two, what are the best foods and nutrients for brain health? Three, can exercise impact brain health? And if so, how? Four, what are effective ways to reduce stress and its impact on the brain? Five, how does sleep affect brain health and what are tips for improving sleep quality? Let's proceed with the first question and see the answer. So again, we got a few tips regarding methods for improving memory and cognitive sharpness like 1. Leveraging the biology of memory, 2. Utilizing emotion for better recall, and so on. Just like in the previous scenario, we got links to sections that talk about these methods. As the first link, we got an episode on understanding and improving memory using science-based tools. We've also got a few more links that we could check if we wanted to dive deeper into this topic. So that's it for the scenario number two. And the last scenario is a case 
when we don't have an idea of what we'd like to ask about, but we'd like to learn more about optimizing health and performance. In that case, we can use the first or the fourth conversation starter. The first starter will give us 10 example questions we can ask about. The last starter will give us general topics that the Huberman GPT can help us with. Let's use the last conversation starter and see where it leads us. So the GPT gave us 10 topics that we can explore in more detail. My favorite one from this list is longevity and aging. Let's select it and prompt Huberman GPT to give us common questions in this area. Okay, we got 10 questions that we can ask in the area of longevity and lifespan. Let's ask the first question from the list. What are the latest scientific discoveries in the field of longevity and aging? And again, we've got a few tips regarding the dietary strategies for promoting longevity and links to videos where we can learn more about these tips. So this is it for the Huberman GPT walkthrough. If you'd like to try it out, the link to it is in the description. If you'd like to learn how to use AI for creating insights, doing research and creating content, check out my free school community. I'm sharing the link in the description as well. See you in the next video. Clear skies.